Good evening, friends. This is Gary Piggold talking to all of you from a basement outside Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And the reason we're in this basement is because in the summer of 1969, me and my friends Dave and Mike put together our very first basement band, an actual, literal basement band. And we were called Pornographic Cornflake, which is named after um, an I Am the Walrus lyric, but that's a whole other story. So we're trying to figure out songs to play. I was the lead guitarist. I played slide guitar using a nail clipper for that slide effect. Very, very interesting, as you can imagine. And let's see, we were doing, tried to do Jimi Hendrix. We played In Agata De Vida, of course. It lasted two hours long. We cream. And then one fateful day into this basement, Dave, the bass player, brought a copy of this record, which I'm sure you all know about. And he said we should learn a song on this record called Summertime Blues. And um, I was just a little kid and didn't know anything about the song, didn't know how to play the song, but I knew it was a good song. And it was an Eddie Cochran song, it turned out. Let me show you something. Eddie Cochran playing summertime blues is real simple, it just sort of went like this. But the first version of summertime blues I ever heard was Blue Cheers, and it was um, much more heavy. And we learned how to play summertime blues. And to this day, not to bash Eddie Cochran at all, but the definitive version of summertime blues, as far as I'm concerned, is Blue Cheers. And I still listen to the album. I still have it in my basement, as you can see. I still write about Blue Cheer. Here's a little article which mentions Blue Cheer in it. There's Vince Abyss right there in between Chuck Berry and Sonny Bono. And all these years later, Blue Cheer still turns air into cottage cheese. <laughs> 